Some people can climb on board a machine that they're unfamiliar with and drive away. And that sure proves that they can drive anything. But it says nothing about their ability as an operator. The first step in operating any piece of equipment is to become familiar with the machine. Reading through an operator's manual doesn't mean you don't know anything. In fact, the opposite is true. It means that you do know enough to find out the exact servicing the machine requires. In this program, we'll look at all the preventive maintenance you should perform on your forklift. Preventive maintenance begins before you even start the machine. It continues throughout the day. It continues after you've stopped for the day. And with forklifts, special maintenance, or PMA, is required every eight hours. Now we all know that your forklift's not going to blow up the first time you forget to check the water level in the battery. But we also know this. If you do all the maintenance that your forklift requires, it's going to be around a long time. Your first step each day is to look over the entire machine. Just a quick general look to see if there are any obvious problems. Look under the forklift for any signs of leaks. If you find any, investigate. A leak is a certain sign that something's wrong. Tire trouble is about the last thing you need. So make sure there is enough pressure and that all the lug nuts are tight. Look over the tread and sidewalls for uneven wear, cuts, or punctures. Anything that could cause problems later on. Okay, now the engine compartment. Make sure the water level in the battery covers the filler wells and that the terminals are corrosion free. You should check the engine oil every day. And not just the level. You should look at the condition of the oil, too. If it's discolored or smells of fuel, don't start the engine. Contaminated oil will ruin the engine in no time. Your next checkpoint is the air filter. All you have to do is take off the cover and remove the filter. Then tap the filter lightly on your hand to shake out dust. But if the filter is really dirty, get a new one. Look over the belts, the fan, hoses, and clamps. Spotting and correcting problems now can avoid hours of downtime. Next, check the hydraulic fluid. Keep the level between the full and add marks. And that's it for the engine compartment. Just a few more checks to make. On this forklift, the brake fluid reservoir is on top of the dashboard. If you can feel oil inside the reservoir, you have enough. Next, the transmission fluid. The reservoir is under the floorboard. Again, keep the level between the full and add marks on the dipstick. Okay. Now, coolant. A low coolant level can cause overheating. So make sure the coolant level stays above the radiator core, about an inch or so from the bottom of the filler neck. Look over all the lines and hoses. 
Check for any signs of leaks and make sure all the connections are tight. Okay, the next step is greasing. There are only a few points to get on a forklift, so you might as well get them all. Start with the rear wheels. There are two fittings on each one. Now these fittings can be a little hard to reach, so turn the wheels as far as you can to make them easier to get to. And always wipe the fittings clean before you attach the grease gun. That prevents forcing dirty grease back into the fitting. Next, grease all the steering pivot points. On this machine, there are four fittings, two on each side. Check the operator's manual for your machine to be sure you get all the fittings. Okay, now for the front end. It's a good idea to oil the chain daily. The chain moves almost continuously while you're working and keeping it lubricated will make it last longer. And that's it for daily checks and PMA. Remember, you are supposed to do a PMA every eight hours. But you're also responsible for PMB, too, after every 150 hours of operation. The only differences between PMA and PMB are the additional steps of changing the engine oil and replacing the oil filter. And there's one important point about changing the filter. Always coat the gasket of the new filter with grease before you install it. The grease creates a better seal when the filter's in place, and it makes the filter easier to remove the next time it's changed. Preventive maintenance doesn't end with the daily checks, the PMA, or the PMB. In fact, it continues throughout the day. You should look, listen, and feel for signs of trouble. If you think something's wrong, stop working and investigate. Finding and correcting problems as they occur saves money and downtime. When you shut down at the end of the day, take a few minutes to look over your machine. Anything you can take care of now will save you time in the morning. So check for leaks or any sign of damage. And that's all there is to preventive maintenance. As you can see, there is not much to it. But if you take the time to do all the maintenance that your forklift requires every day, it'll be around for a long, long time.